we're at the Box Nation Dinner 2016. With me, I've got none other than British and European, WBO European champion Liam Williams, and none other than Mr. Gary Lockett. How are you? The Welsh contingent is in town. Yes, bro. Yeah, very good, very good, thanks. How are you? You good? I'm very well, very well. Got Barry Jones here as well. Did you guys all travel down together? No. We wouldn't, have him. we wouldn't have him in a car. No us. way would he be in any of our cars, mate. No way. He's a bit of a live wire, old Barry Jones, to say the least, isn't he? Mm, yeah, he's... Uh, no, we wouldn't have him in our car. Yeah. Type of man you want on yeah. a night out, but not on a four-hour drive. Nah, definitely not. That's <laughs> <laughs> things are you, champ. He you, you, you <laughs> wouldn't be happy with that. <laughs> nah, we're only messing, but... That's things are you, champ. Yeah, very good. Just um, enjoying some time off now and... Um, yeah, just, you know, enjoying Christmas with family and whatever else. You know, looking forward to getting back on the business. Is it nice of you to have that switch off time where you sort of spend so long in camp, spend so long looking at this man's face? Does it nice to have that little break, that little breather? Yeah, well, I had, had a break from the gym and whatever, but I haven't had a break from Gary because we've been out together and everything else. But um, it's nice to just, it's, well, it's probably nicer for my family and everyone else rather than me to see me happy and, you know, not being nasty to everyone all the time. When I'm training and starving, so... Making weight can be a stressful business. Yeah, it, can, it is definitely. Um, I'm not very nice when I'm making weight. I'm training really hard, so it's nice for them to get a break from me. It's been a big year for yourself, breakout year in, in some ways, and come to a lot of people's attention, other than Gary Lockett singing your praises that he has done for so many years. How, how do you think this year has been? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, we had a couple of good wins. Uh, you know, it could have been better, but... You know, as far as I'm concerned, it's been a good year, and um, just just happy to get a couple of wins, picked up a new belt, um, yeah, and everything's gone right, so can't can't complain. Same question to you. I know it's been a hard year in some ways for yourself, but how do you sort of assess 2016? Um, not 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 the best, really. I mean, for for Liam, it's been pretty good. Uh, we had a couple of couple of little setbacks with Liam I had to pull out the one fight obviously because of everything that happened with Nick when he fought uh, Chris Eubank Jr um, that was that was a massive setback but um, uh, you know Liam's had three fights this year <clears throat> and I think that obviously I don't think he's shown his his best mm -hmm. but he had a good win over Gary Corcoran um, didn't box well at all mm -hmm. I don't think he boxed well at all the last fight either but I think that's, it's due to circumstances. You know, you're supposed to box Ahmed Patterson. Um, no. Again, the fight was off again for the second time. So Liam got left with... Um, cheers. So Liam got left with a replacement opponent again. And um, it was a guy that he knew he was going to walk through. So, you know, he didn't, he didn't box to the best of his abilities. But, again, it's, it was another title. And... Uh, <laughs> excuse me. It was another title, and, uh, and obviously we, we move on and uh, we're, we're anticipating what comes next. Obviously, we've got to speak to Frank in the next couple of weeks, and uh, we're anticipating what comes next. But um, whether it's defending his British title or, or pursuing pastures new, then Liam's going to be he's going to be ready. Do you feel Liam's ready to step up onto the world scene, or would you like to see him fight no. at British level a few no, more times? No, no, listen, if, if the right opportunity comes along, of course, but. You know, people forget he's had he's had 16 fights. You know, look look back, look back 10 or 20 years ago, a fighter who's had 16 fights boxing in a world title fight or a world title eliminator would be ludicrous. It's a different world today, but um, I just believe the guys the guys that are slightly <coughs> above him have had a lot lot more experience. Um, and you know, if the right opportunity comes along, then we have to seriously consider it. But for the moment, we're we're okay, you know. We're okay. I'd like to see him pick up the European title, you know, the EBU title against um, Cedric Vitu, who again is an experienced guy, but I think would would be a very good learning fight for Liam and a, and a fight where so I think Liam wins comfortably. So um, we'll just see what's what, what's new and what what opportunities are there. As well as being a successful year for you, Jim, it's been quite a tragic year mm. in some ways with with the situation involving Nick Blackwell. First time around must have been hard enough for you and your team to mm. deal with having. The situation that's arised second to that, Nick, mm. Nick obviously being taken back in hospital has been well documented. Well, was there any sort of updates or anything you could sort of tell us on what, what's going on? Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I'll keep it brief because obviously, um, you know, Nick's family uh, uh, are obviously the most important people. Um, I think we had a bit of good news last night. I think we're winning. That's the main thing. Um, 
you know we all we all love Nick you know he's, he's such a great guy he's so positive he's great to have around the boys I mean um, he's been to our gym once twice a week you know training with the boys um, circuits hitting the bags treadmill sprints rowing sprints still top of the leaderboard you know when we when we found out what had happened we just we just couldn't believe it you know we just couldn't believe that number one he'd be so stupid but number two anyone that was involved in that <coughs> anyone that was involved in in, in arranging that sparring um, is very 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 guilty and um, there are two there are two people that have been um, suspended I believe well that's just two of the culprits there are a lot more um, and any more of the culprits that are involved mm. and, and get found out I believe that they ought to be disciplined exactly the same as the other two have but um, I prefer to talk about positives and um, obviously I think we're winning um, it's going to be a little bit of, it's, it's going to be a longer process than the last time but knowing um, how what the, knowing the type of person that Nick is um, he's very stubborn he's very 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 um, he's just He's superhuman in a way. I, I always say, you know, his, his fitness and uh, and his attitude. I type of person he is. He can definitely make it through it. That's for sure. He says we're wishing Nick a speedy recovery. I know that it was hard for yourself with your last fight. Yeah. Sort of everything going on around that and around the sort of fight. He realised there was something going on, but he didn't realise what it was because I had the phone call from Dan, Nick's brother, on the Tuesday night, um, and then. <coughs> you know, I had to keep it from the three boys that I had boxing, so Liam and, and Alex and, and little Jay Harris. So um, I think I had a text off Dan about an hour and a half before Liam boxed, and he said, keep Liam away from his phone because it's just broken on Twitter. So I was scrabbling about then, and, you know, um, there, was, there was a lot of people on Twitter saying a few nasty things, believing I, th I think that I was linked to it. And that's that's quite hurtful because anybody knows me knows that you know the boxer's health is is paramount. And uh, but anyway, you know, you know, moving on, we managed to keep it from Liam. And um, I told him, mm -hmm. and I told the boys after. And obviously, they were understandably as upset. But you know, we're we're a little bit disappointed with Nick for what he did. Um, but you know, this is this is it. He was obviously suffering. He was obviously suffering a lot more than what we really realised that he was. Um, you know, we knew that we knew that um, he missed it, but we didn't know how much he missed it. And the fact that he kept it away from all of us and he was sparring behind closed doors, I think that's testament to how much he missed it. But um, you know, let's just let's just mm. hope that um, he comes through it and he can work in, with the, in the corner with us again. Because I know he enjoyed that and uh, just a great guy to be around. So um, at the moment, he's a massive loss for the camp, but. I'm 100% confident that he's going to be back. We are all genuinely wishing Nick Black a swift recovery, and we do hope we see him in the corner and, yeah. and sort of causing havoc as he normally does, smiling. Yeah, definitely. No, he's a, he's a cracking lad. But um, no, it was it was tough. It was tough for Liam and um, and uh, and the boys afterwards. But uh, we're you know we've been to see him weekly, a um, couple of times a week. So. Um, we're winning, as I said. You know, we had some good news last night. I, I, I know the family won't, mi they won't mind me saying that. We had some very good news last night, and um, we seem to be winning. That's all. That's all I can say at the moment. Thank you, mate. Before we go, I wish you the best for 2017. In yep. true Cassius Nelder fashion, you're gonna drop a couple of dance moves for no, us, maybe you Christmas song. Last time and. Uh, Too cold. Yeah, it's a bit too cold. I can't wait to get back inside, but thanks for having us on anyway. <laughs> Lads, great to get you on. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Thanks.